There was a, a doctor highlighted that was doing C-sections on Fridays, like <laughs> three to four times as frequently. And it was always Friday afternoon and everything was going to a C-section instead of natural birth. And, you know, obviously C-sections play a role and there is a percentage that should get it. But it was like this was this was, again, a couple standard deviations away from the norm. And you're going, why is it always on a Friday? What's happening? Well, logically, you presume they want to get out of there and go home. But like what a perverse kind of incentive structure to say, I'm going to suggest to a woman that this is for the baby's best interest or it's safer or whatever. But really, you're doing it for yourself as a physician, most likely, exactly. so that you can go home at the end of the week. Exactly. Yeah, we our research team has looked at that exactly, which you see like C-sections spike on Friday afternoons, like you said, like there's a pretty common rate of it throughout the week. And then like Friday at noon, it just starts to like do this like tailspin upwards. And yeah, the only conclusion you can really come to with that is either all the OBs plan their C-sections for Friday afternoons, the planned ones, like that seems unlikely. Or yeah, it's a convenience thing. They don't want to get called in at 2 a.m. on a Saturday to do a natural delivery. 